Today in our crystal field theory, we will be looking at uh, crystal field splitting in octahedral complex. Now generally, whenever we are talking about octahedral complex, the central metal atom is attached to 6 ligands and few of the examples are FeCn64- and CO ammonia 63 plus now this is the structure of uh, octahedral complex uh, wherein the four uh, ligands are in the plane and uh, the two ligands are in the top and bottom of uh, the plane and this forms a geometrical structure having eight faces and hence it is called an octahedral complex now whenever we are talking about d orbital we know that the degeneracy of d orbital is five and these are uh, d xy dyz dzx dx square minus y square and dz square now among these orbitals dz square and dx square minus y square these orbitals are oriented on the axis that is uh, dx square minus y square loops are oriented along x and y axis and dz square the ori uh, the orientation of lobe is along uh, z axis uh, whereas uh, the remaining three orbitals uh, that is dxy dyz and dzx they are between the axis uh, that is in the plane between the axis so in octahedral complex this ligands that are approaching they are approaching from the axis that is these two ligands are coming from the z axis while these four ligands they are approaching from the x square minus y square so the electrons which are present on this orbitals will experience more amount of uh, repulsion as compared to the other uh, the electrons which are present in other three orbitals now looking at the splitting of the d orbital now initially when all the ligands are very far away from each other all the d orbitals uh, all the five d orbitals are degenerate that is they have equal energy now as the ligands they are approaching towards the metal ion then at a particular point uh, they will form a spherically symmetrical sphere in this particular manner and the energy of all the orbit all the orbitals all the five d orbitals will increase uh, but they will again remain degenerate now this particular state is generally referred as the average energy state or it is also referred as the berry center now the splitting takes place from this berry center uh, that is as the ligands they are approaching towards the central metal ion then this ligands they are attracted by the central metal ion but at the same time they are being repelled by the electrons that are present in the d orbital and as we have seen that d x square minus y square and d z square they are oriented along the axis whereas uh, the other orbitals dxy dyz and dzx they are oriented between the axis and as a result uh, the electrons which are lying or electrons which are present in dx square minus y square and dz square will experience more repulsion uh, that is the repulsion between the electrons of the ligand and the electrons of the d orbital will be more in case of dx square minus y square uh, electrons present in dx square minus y square and dz square and as a result as the repulsion is more the amount of potential energy will be more and as a result the energy will be higher and as a result when splitting and as a result because of this orbitals which are present along the axis uh, the energy of the orbital which are present along the axis will increase and the energy of the orbital which are present uh, which are between the axis will decrease and as a result the d orbital now no uh, now no longer remains uh, a set of five degenerate orbitals but it divides into a set of two degenerate orbitals which is uh, ref represented as eg and triple e degenerate orbitals uh, which is uh, represented by uh, t2g so t it represents triple e degenerate and e it represents double e degenerate g stands for uh, girard and this is again with respect to the berry center and as the net energy will remain uh, same uh, the splitting that is the difference between the energy of t2g and eg is represented by delta o and this delta o is uh, splitting energy and uh, with respect to the uh, berry center this energy is 0 0.6 times delta o and this energy will be 0 0.5 four times uh, delta o this splitting energy it is also represented as 
10 dq where dq is the differential of quanta uh, so this will be 6 dq and the lower side will be uh, 4 dq so this is how splitting will take place and splitting is basically because of the repulsion between the electrons of the ligand and electrons that are present in the d orbital and the magnitude of the splitting will depend on the strength of ligand and the strength of ligand is given by spectrochemical uh, series uh, where the least or the weakest ligands are the halides uh, that is i minus br minus cl minus uh, f minus and as we go further uh, ammonia is a mildly strong ligand and no2 ch3 uh, co cn these are the strong ligands so uh, if we have cn co uh, ch3 no2 then the magnitude of splitting will be higher and if we have ligands like uh, chloride bromide iodide the magnitude of splitting will be lower so this is how a splitting of d orbital take place in the presence of ligand thank you very much